Well, that particular day, we were flying what they call Eagle flights, doing this all day, in, out, in, out. Finally, we go to a place where it's, the rivers meet called the French Fort, and we line our choppers, and you know, a long day, nothing happening. So then we, I tell people, we come down to like treetop level, and then I think four million VC stood up <laughs> and started shooting at us while you're committed, so you're coming in. We get maybe uh, about treetop level, maybe a little lower, and then there's a big explosion in the front. And uh, we got hit with an RPG and it blew the front of the ship apart. And, uh, but we, we're still committed, you know, we're coming in. And as we're coming in, the crossfire, the crossfire was so bad. Uh, we had two guys that didn't even leave the cabin. Um, how come I didn't get hit? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Um, so I got, you know, Timmy kind of by the butt here. We're just kind of by the radio pedestal. And then uh, Bart says, duck. Well, I got no place to go. But I know he went like this. And then, bang, a big explosion. Uh, of course, I yelled and said a few choice words. And I looked and my arm is, you know, hanging down. So I kind of skid around the front of the ship and Bart's uh, attending Timmy. And what we did is we put tourniquets on both his legs to help stop the bleeding. Uh, I didn't do nothing with my arm yet, it was there. And I, I got him like right here, you know, hey pal. And, you know, he looked at me and says, tell Jay, poof. And at that moment I thought he died. So then you have all this anger, hate, rage. Figure you're going. So I take this and I kind of tuck it in my pants so it wouldn't flop around. I got the, the Thompson, so I tell people I, I did what I call my John Wayne run. You kind of run, dodge, whatever, or, or walk on water. I don't know, but I, uh, I get about halfway and then I get nailed, uh, nailed again. And then from that point to in my gun well, how I got there, I do not know. But I mean, I had to get there. Uh, we had one medic that was alive, and he's on a little bit higher ground, and he, he got shot in the back, so he couldn't move much, so I would drag the wounded to him. And you you know, you drag somebody across the rice paddy, it's, you know, mud and water, it's, it's not that hard. And uh, I passed out, I guess, two or three times, you know, throughout the evening trying to do this. I did this off and on, you know, throughout the evening to try and do what, do what you can. Yeah, you know, I mean, we're human beings. If somebody needs your help and you can, hey, go for it. You know, there's two things you can do, either make the best of it or find a place and hide. So here I am in this bed some of the guys that I had saved found out Gary Wetzel was there and they would come up to the edge of the bunk and, you know, are you Gary Wetzel? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they would, you know, whip out their wallet and say, hey, pal, you know, this is my girlfriend, this is my wife, this is my kid, this is what you did for me. And uh, that, what makes, that makes me feel good. So when I wear this, I wear it for everybody. It's just not, uh, it's not for Gary Wetzel. It's a soldier trying to do the best he could.